Welcome to everyone. Today we're going to start our summer and spring uh, muscadine fertilizing program. We have already come in here about a month ago and pruned our muscadines. So they're ready for spring. Uh, the leaves are starting to come on just a little bit. It's right around the 1st of April right now. You can see a few leaves are starting. They're a little bit later than it was this time last year. I believe we had some colder spells later this year. But we did have a big freeze uh, around the 10th of April, I believe, last year, too. But uh, it's around the 1st of April right now, and we got to fertilize these muscadines twice a month, okay? Uh, on the first month, I fertilized a triple 17, a 17, 17, 17 fertilizer. Okay, right here. Um, and on the 15th of the month, I do calcium nitrate. And I will have a video around the 15th of this month to show, show that, how we do that as well. Uh, very similar to this, but just a little bit different fertilizer. Now, in years past, what I have done is I come in here with a handful of fertilizer and I go around the base, I go around the whole vine, something like this. But we're gonna change that this time because these are established muscadines now and the three-year-olds they're actually about five but we've had them in the ground since 2020 so to me they're three-year-old muscadines 2020 2021 2022 so i'm considering them three-year muscadines okay so i'm gonna come in here today is since they're established muscadines now i'm hoping that the root system has started going down the trellis area here because where we got the uh vine set up it's running down the wire And we're hoping that the roots will fall that vine. That's the theory, okay? So instead of going around the plant this time, like we've have done in the past two years, we're gonna run a fertilizer, just a handful down each side of the plant. All right. I'm gonna take the camera out here and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. There'll be no editing on this video, so there's a little bit of a camera action, all right? All right, here we go. Here's a fertilizer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna go down half a handful there. And half a, a handful there. And that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this on the first of every month. You can see I stayed away from that plant. I didn't get right close to it. I was away from the plant a little bit. And uh, it's supposed to rain. I'm, here, I'm out here today is because it's supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow. So I really would like to get this fertilizer out. So it'll go into the ground. Now you don't have to water it in though. Uh, with muscadines, you can just leave it be and it will naturally go into the soil. But it's the first time this year we had not fertilized them in probably about three months. So I want to go ahead and get it down into the roots and get that plant ready to go. So when these flowers or leaves bust out here, probably I'm gonna say in the next two weeks, this should be all green foliage, and I want it dark green. So let's go down to our next one here. Let's go down like that. So I want that root system to go down the line, fall on this plant here. So that's, how about, that's it really on uh, fertilizing the muscadines. First of month, triple seventeen. You see, this year I've already sprayed all the grass and weeds on all three this year. A nice wide pattern. Uh, there's no competition now with that fertilizer and the water for these vines. There'll be no more grass and weeds trying to get in there and uh, compete for that stuff and nutrition. So go back if you want to look at the videos for, uh, it's in the Musky Down playlist for how we get, got all this going, how to get it started, all the steps involved uh, on fertilizing and pruning over the past two years, really. Uh, unfortunately, we would try to, when we built this system, we was just brand new to YouTube and we couldn't figure out how to film it at that time. So I really, really wish I would have uh, had a video of us putting this up, but we don't. 
But over there in that corner, you see the little bit of wasted space over there. We may expand next year. Uh, depends how this goes this year. We're going to put on selling some muscadines this year and see how that goes. Uh, canning some, some jellies and things like that. Selling some jams and jellies, stuff like that. But this is a food that should be a good crop this year uh, because it's the three year established muscadines. I might worry about drought I got our water system here. We got drip irrigation. So, uh, I'm not concerned about that. I really don't have many concerns this year on it. I think it's going to do really, really well. Uh, so, hopefully, we'll expand one day, maybe next year. I know next year on our homestead plans, the farm plans. We have ideas to get quail next year. Now, last year we focused on, on pigs. This year we focused on sheep. And hopefully we can do some more research on this, on this quail, okay? Uh, that's coming. That might be a project next year instead of uh, expanding the down the orchard or vineyard. Don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. But I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, let me get out here and finish this up. I've got several more hours before it gets dark and the rain comes in. And I still got to go check some the pond out and the beaver problems down there. I got to go check some other things out and uh, get it all done. Because tomorrow we're going to be in the house all day long with all that rain. So thanks for watching. <laughs>